Hello, I am J.C. Carey, the poet. The reason superheroes wear these uh, wild costumes is they are showing us that even in the midst of strife, one must try to keep his sense of humor. So I call this poem, Comic Book Hero. Each person writes his own comic book, action hero or a funny look, silly pranks or unrequited love, thoughts written in the bubble above. The comic book hero is not, does not know when he has lost, does not get distracted, is not misdirected, exactly. Everyone must be the hero, need not be macho or virile, but respond without hesitation to a desperate situation. The comic book hero always wins, unlike his real life twin, whose only victory is death, knowing he has done his best, one step ahead of the rest, with an insight he was blessed. Seeing all the energies involved, the case is easily solved. Superman flew through the current, yet has not been a deterrent. Through the ages, brutal has raged, and the people do not seem to be outraged. Cape Crusader on a mission, will begins with decision. Perseverance is not magic but not taking no for an answer. Against all odds, and oddly, the Achilles heel and the gauntlet, with tragedy at his feet, he still tries to stay upbeat. Batman had bats in his belfry. The dark side raged to hellish. So he donned the black and the hood and use the firepower for good. The femme fatale lies in wait for the hero of the close escape. Provocative becomes a bad joke to the constantly provoked. A target in a video game, the electric bullets well aimed, even if succeeding to hide, what is feared comes from inside. The comic book hero never cares, regardless of the danger he dares, to take on whatever they send, for he knows how the story will end. In fighting for a just cause, the hero is stating, just because, whether he triumphs or loses, evil will be rendered useless. Each wrong act makes him more right, as he dwindles, gaining in might, when exhausted, almost dead, the pillars will fall upon their heads. Not for death does he strive, but will not be living a lie, like the will to survive, though we die. His judgment is how he tried. A graphic depiction of man trying to foil the evil plan when good people have not a clue what sinister is willing to do. Superheroes have a superpower, which is called, I will not allow it. Having one talent to a raw edge to be wielded with taught knowledge. The comic book hero is not cracked. His force field is proactive a thick skin closing the gap between him and the ether he tapped. The hero can see etheric at the crossroads of near it, sensible giving him a sense of what he is up against. The hero battles the ghoulish, both admirable and foolish, trying to draw a conclusion when there is no solution. The comic book hero is a guise, the good guys and the bad guys. 
both see the other as villainous on another level as silliness. A caricature of himself, his character is something else, an idea of what he could be, masking his true identity. The hero must be bigger than life, the trigger of his own device, and a surprise he cannot devise, a grand scheme gleaming in his eyes. The hero is not a legal tool, enforcing the golden rule, fighting for what he has to say, truth, justice, and the universal way. Self-esteem and humility, futility versus utility, a man split in half and a pixie. A frontal attack will be tricky. The hero is defined by evil, a dark definition of people, when the meaning is just plain mean and the legions are moving unseen. Powerless over insidious is never equal to viciousness, leaving only one recourse to stop them with their own force. The secretive army in hiding had to show themselves to fight him. At his feet was their defeat, for there was nowhere to retreat. Regiments rattled against his contempt, the bells and whistles of attempts. Sounding the alarm was his intent, so after all the message is sent. Not a comic figure or a joke, but a champion of lost hope. With a punch to his punchline, his impact lasts until the end of time. Thank you.